What are your thoughts on using file groups to periodically migrate older data from expensive storage uh, to cheaper storage for cost-saving purposes? No. So the, as soon as you say file groups, what, what I think you're trying to do is you're trying to rebuild indexes or move objects from one file group to another. Don't do that. It's a logged operation. It's slow. It's going to take a long time. It's going to be I.O. intensive. Instead, when you decide that you want to migrate between uh, types of storage, what you do is set up a new log shipping replica or a new availability groups replica with the storage design that you want migrate over to that because you can do that live in real time. You can uh, set up log shipping, availability groups, keep the data in sync. And then whenever it's time to cut over, you can have a nice short minimal outage of like 30 seconds when you go do that failover. And you can do that for version upgrades. You can do it for uh, patches, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, as opposed to any time you do a, what's called a size of data operation. You're going to learn a new term today. A size of data operation is something that the larger that the data is, the longer the operation takes. You don't want to do size of data operations. They're like the last resort when you're managing data. And that's what moving stuff between file groups is a size of data operation.